Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. It's great to have you back here. And this week, we're going to talk a little bit about Major League Baseball and in particularly the second half of the Major League Baseball season as we have just come off of the All-Star Game with the American League winning once more for a seventh straight season against the National League. And we go into this second half of the season with some big things going on in baseball, uh, a couple of division races wide open and some big teams headed towards that postseason, including the New York Yankees, as you see there in our picture. Now, guys, you can go over to the blog, the Z Code System website, and you can check out some of our different blogs and picks there. As you can see, there is our Major League Baseball What's in Store for the Second Half of the Season blog that has just recently been posted, and we have some picks there of who we believe will be winning the respective divisions in Major League Baseball, as well as making the wild card uh, as the postseason comes into view in uh, September and October as we get more towards that. Uh, but of course, guys, we can also take a look at a few other things we have here at Z Code System, including the automated systems. So guys, you can check out our Z Code System automated systems, past performances, and all the different systems that you can follow at Z Code. And all you have to do is log in and go into the website. And as we can scroll down here to our road to a million, the top 100 systems and their past performances, you can check out all of the profits that were made previously. And you can also check out where we are now there with $898,000. And uh, those profits just keep going up with Z Code system. And then you can scroll down and check out our profits graph. And you can also check out the fantastic, as there we go, the automated systems that you can follow. And what you'll want to do is click on active, and uh, then you can pick the sport that you want to follow, uh, whether it be baseball, basketball, esports, hockey, whatever it is, uh, or you can just follow all sports. And you'll be able to get these top systems to follow. And uh, of course, you can check out all of this great information over here, such as the profits and the return on investment. So definitely go check those out, and those will help you out with your sports betting. Also, of course, guys, you can go over to the VIP club, and you can check out, for example, I've got Major League Baseball here, and today, uh, July 13th, and you can check out the different picks that come up on the VIP wall. And, for example, I'll just show you one right here. We'll take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays, the second-place Tampa Bay Rays right now in the uh, AL East. They're taking on the Baltimore Orioles, who are in the cellar of the AL East. And this one here, as you can see, uh, a prediction of the Tampa Bay Rays uh, score prediction of Tampa Bay 9, Baltimore 3. And you can get all this great information, including seeing just where the Orioles are slipping up continuously and uh, seeing how burning hot uh, Tampa Bay is right now. And uh, you can see their records there, as well as some information on their pitching and, and the different hot trends we have and some of the different hot trends we have going on there with uh, with these two teams. And you can check out all the games that are going on. But, uh, guys, let's look at a little bit of the information that uh, we've come up with for the second half of the MLB season. For the second half of the MLB season, uh, we're going to look at uh, just a few key things that are going on right now. And uh, one of the things that uh, really stands out, and I'm going to bring up MajorLeagueBaseball.com, I brought up MajorLeagueBaseball.com here, the standings, just to simply look at uh, the different things going on. And as you can see, the Yankees up there in the AL East and uh, Tampa Bay just right behind them, doing very well right now. But, you know, don't uh, don't sleep on those Red Sox, five straight wins, and uh, they are improving fast. But uh, let's start, and I'm going to scroll down, let's start with the... Best team right now in Major League Baseball. First team to 60 wins, the Los Angeles Dodgers, who are playing very well. They uh, are 12 and a half games up on Arizona. And they, you know, in a way, they've already wrapped this Western division up. I know there's still a lot of baseball to play in the second half. And yes, the Dodgers have lost four straight games while Arizona's won four. Uh, so that might be something to watch in the future. But the Dodgers, first team to 60 wins, plus 280 to win the World Series right now. That is the sportsbook's favorite uh, post All Star game, so you know the Dodgers doing very well. They've made two straight World Series, losing both of those to Houston and to Boston. 
uh, in back-to-back -back years. Can they make it a third straight year, and will third time be lucky? Don't know about that, but uh, keep your eyes there. They will be playing Boston tonight, uh, Saturday, the July, 30, uh, July 13th, that is. Uh, they'll be playing them in uh, Beantown. Now, let's look up at the NL Central. We're going to go division by division. The Cubs barely up there, a game and a half on Milwaukee. This is a very much wide open division. And as you can see, as we look down the streaks here, these teams um, really fighting to be, uh, you know, who wants it, really? That's, I guess, the question we should ask right now. The Cubs uh, doing the best of these bad teams. But as you can see, the Cincinnati Reds, just five and a half games back, and they are the fifth place team in that division. So that one wide open. Now, moving up to the NL East, things not so much wide open, not uh, quite as wide open, that is, uh, with the Braves up uh, six games on Washington. And that's kind of a fight between those two teams. I think the most disappointing part is uh, Philadelphia has really fallen back. And I thought this was going to be a team to really fight uh, for the uh, NL East title. And of course, my New York Mets are uh, sucking again this year and uh, playing very poorly uh, for a, a what's this a third straight season and uh, looks like a big playoff miss. So let's go back up now to the AL. We'll start with the AL West and uh, the Astros uh, really doing well right now. Again, Oakland not too far off. Six games, a lot of games to play here, and uh, Houston two straight losses, um, seven and three in their last ten. Still, this is a very good team who's been quite consistent. Uh, Minnesota, again, another team doing very well. Uh, the Indians fighting for that uh, wild card. They're first right now in the wild card. And then uh, we'll scroll up to the East, which is the most competitive division right now in Major League Baseball. And the Yankees are up there. Um, don't really want to sleep on these Red Sox, though. I really like what they're doing right now. And uh, five straight wins. And, you know, Tampa Bay... Uh, might be a bit of a Cinderella story, uh, especially with word that they could be in a few seasons splitting between Montreal and Tampa Bay, which is absolutely ridiculous in, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, if we look at those Red Sox right now, sports books have them at plus two, uh, sorry, they've got them at plus 2,800 to win the World Series this year. So, you know, you the way that they've been playing all of a sudden, that might be a bet you want to get in on uh, right there. Tampa Bay Devil Rays or uh, Tampa Bay Rays, as they like to be called now, uh, they are plus 2,500 to win the World Series. Now, I think the Rays are going to drop off. Yes, they might make the playoffs uh, as a wild card, but I just don't see this team continuing to uh, play at the top of the level right now with uh, the Yankees there in the East, as well as that hard-charging Boston. And, uh, you know, Cleveland and Minnesota and Houston are some very difficult teams. And uh, the Astros... Third best odds right now to win the World Series plus four uh, plus four hundred, and then we've got the Twins at plus twelve hundred. So these teams are all fighting for it, and uh, the bookies really like um, really like the uh, World Series trophy going to the AL if you take away the Los Angeles Dodgers. Which again, I think the Dodgers might just fall away uh, in this year's playoff race. Now, in our recent blog, I put my picks for who will be making the playoffs. I'm just going to run through those right now. And it is uh, right now I've got the Yankees, the Twins, and uh, the Astros winning their respective divisions with the wild card in the AL going to Cleveland and Boston. Sorry, Tampa Bay. Uh, over in the NL, I've got the Braves, the Cubs, and the Dodgers winning their respective divisions, plus Arizona and Washington making that wild card. But We'll see how it really pans out. But before we go this week, guys, I want to show you one tool that we have at Z Code, and this is a tool that could help you pick this year's World Series winner. And I'm talking about the Playoff Simulator. So as you can see here, I've got the Playoff Simulator all set up, and uh, this has the teams with uh, who are currently in the playoff and wild card positions, uh, AL and NL, and I have just got the average upset level. Now I'm going to run three different playoff simulations on this. So if you'll bear with me, we'll take a look at the average upset level. And this will just take a couple of seconds to simulate with these teams. And as you can see, with the way that baseball is here, we can see that the Minnesota Twins have been picked to defeat the Atlanta Braves. I believe that would be a uh, rematch of the 1991 uh, World Series, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, we've got seven games 
the twins taking that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch this up to a low upset level. And we're going to have a look at this one more time. I'm going to hit simulate one more time or simulate again. It takes us back to there. And here we go again. And as you can see, once more, four games to three, the Minnesota Twins beating the Atlanta Braves. Looks like things quite similar to the way they were just a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago with our previous upset level. Now, I'm going to go one more time, and I'm going to change this to high, my high upset level. And we're going to clear this and simulate one more time. And this time, with our high upset level, we've had a bit of a change, a bit of a tweak. We've got a Yankees, Reds, uh, or Yankees Cubs, excuse me, World Series with the Yankees coming out four games to none, sweeping the Cubs. And uh, as you can see, when we change our upset level to high, we see that the Braves have lost uh, to the Cubs there in the first round. And we see that the uh, Twins lose out in the AL Championship game against the New York Yankees. Now, again, this is a great tool that you can use for all your sports betting. And as you can see, whether you bet on baseball or basketball or NHL or NFL, you can use this great playoff simulator to help you, uh, whether you're picking the team that will win the World Series or if you're picking the team that won't win the World Series. So this is a great tool to use. So guys, I encourage you to use this to check out our VIP picks for baseball or for whatever sport you bet on and to get in on those automated systems that you need to help you make educated bets and make profits. Don't forget to go over to our Z Code System blog, check out all the articles there, and to check out our picks that we post uh, every week. And uh, guys, good luck with your sports betting this weekend and next week, and I hope you pick a winner in the Major League Baseball season.